talking about small business, startups, and local business news. It's the Small Business Show on Fruit FM with Nigel Harris. Indeed it is, and welcome once again to Small Business Show here on Froom FM. Uh, and I'm delighted to be joined this afternoon by David O'Coyman. So, hi David. Hi Nigel, pleasure to be here. Thanks for uh, for joining us. Uh, David's come in to talk about his company in uh, Froom, and I have been confessing to him before we came on air that, in fact, it's a company that I'd heard of, because mm-hmm. he's is an international name now, isn't it, Schneider? But, uh, That's right. Uh, yeah, not one that I realised was in Froome, so fascinated to find out from David what the, what the business does. Absolutely, um, yeah. Now, we mentioned the, your company a couple of weeks ago because you'd, you'd done a sponsorship deal with the Cricket Club, hadn't you? Correct, that's right, yeah. It's an important part of the business here in Froome Forest is to integrate with the local community as much as possible. We appreciate that people don't just work all day long. They've got yeah. a you know an active social life, and a couple of our guys are involved in the Cricket Club, and... One in particular was a strong advocate for us getting involved. We were looking for something like that. I wanted to to do it when we became part of Schneider Electric. So as a sign that although the name above the door might have changed because we were brought into the Schneider Electric family about a a year and a half ago. And I wanted to make sure that, uh, you know, it was clear that we still had the same kind of, uh, you know, core beliefs at our heart. Excellent. Good. It's great to find you've got an internationally renowned company, well-known company, and yet you're so integrated in the local community as well. Very important. I mean, for everybody, it's not just about the nine to five or, or the eight to four in our case. It's about everything. It's about the whole package, the whole story. And for us, we, we don't want to just be talking about a product at the end of the day. We want to talk about a kind of a mentality. We want people to buy into what we're doing because we love doing it, because we're passionate about mm. it, because we make a great product. Yes, um, I've never in, in the past had to have a folder in my inbox for just thank you messages. Uh, it's, I mean, it's extraordinary that the goodwill that the product creates. Fantastic. But it's also important for the company to do a similar job and to get out there and show itself in the community and get involved and support things like, for example, as you mentioned, Froome Cricket Club, who've done an incredible job over the last year themselves of regenerating themselves in the community here and and getting the name Froome Cricket Club out there more. Yeah. And we we just think it's fantastic to support that. We've got we've got guys in the club who are sorry, in the team ourselves who are into cricket, who are part of Room Cricket Club. So mm. they were great sort of common denominators, go betweens right. to help set that whole thing up. We've been down there for a game ourselves. We did some practice in the nets. I'd never right. played before. It was fantastic, a lot of fun. Yes, yeah. yeah, so your accent would perhaps betray <laughs> that maybe cricket's not your national uh, right, sport. Right. Is well it? I am used to carrying <laughs> a stick and hitting things. So well. you no, know, it's not entirely <laughs> alien to me. Um, and it was great fun and I have to say like you know seeing the, the smiles on faces and, and the hearty hands handshakes and the thanks from being involved in something like that and we did a similar thing with with uh, Froome Golf Club as well uh, right. sponsoring the Captain's Day last year and again this year and Excellent. we did something with the Cheap Street Market it's really important I think not just for other people to see our name out there mm. but for our own people to see our name out there yeah. to see us integrating the community yeah. it's a sense of well-being that's right and and that, that I think there's a mutual appreciation within the local community isn't it mm. that, you know businesses and and people as you say it's we you know we work there from nine to five on weekdays but you're part of the local community, the fabric of the town, aren't you? You are, certainly. Um, I think you have a responsibility in that respect to yeah. do something about it, to make the most of it. Not just a responsibility, an opportunity. And if you don't yeah. take it, I think that's, that's foolish. Yeah. I think mm. if you engage, there's, yeah. there's much more satisfaction to be had from it for you and for the people who work for you. And you yeah. want a low turnover. You want high productivity as a business. Yeah. And you know, I know it's a soft and a little bit fuzzy, f- fuzzy element, but happiness goes a long way to high productivity um, yeah. and, and to that sort of low turnover and keeping people involved and stuff like that. Mm, I think it's important. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Well, David O'Connor, really appreciate you coming in. Real pleasure. That's been great to have you. David from, get this right, APC by Schneider Electric. <laughs> you got it. Bit of a mouthful, isn't it? <laughs> Very good.